So in this video, we are going to solve one of the very interesting problem that is called the jump game. So you have been given one array that have the non-negative integer numbers. If you see here, these are the array and of course they are the index, right? So you have to just say it is true or false means if you start jumping from this node, this element, this index and the value of 2, right? So from here, either you can jump 1 or 2, max 2 we can jump, right? If you start from 3, either you can jump 1 or 2 or 3 and you have to tell that in such scenarios, you would able to reach the target element or not, means the last index you are able to reach or not, and the last index value is 4 here, right. So in this case, you see, we have the many possibilities. So either we can jump from 2 to this node, and from here we can jump to the final node, right. So in two steps, we can reach that. Another way, you can from here, you can come here, from here you can come here and from here also you can because this is the one. So we can do have the one jump, we can have the one jump. Otherwise, you jump here from 3 and from 3 you can go for the one or from 1 to another one then you can fall. So the final conclusion or final decision or final check you have to tell that if you start from the index 0 with the value given as a number of steps you could able to reach the target or not. So in this case, if you see, we would able to reach the target and we can return the true because we are able to reach the target. So see, and always remember, these are the, if this is the nums array, so of course, this is the index and this is the value, right? So this value will represent the num0 and this will represent the index, right? And our target is that to reach the final index, right? This is the target index we have to reach. And what is this value of here? So if this is the num, then num length minus 1, right? Because the length is that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we start the index 0. So of course, this 4 will be the num's length minus 1, right? So in this case, we have to return the true. Now check this case, we can able to reach or not. So if you start from 3 to 2 or 1, so suppose if you reach from 3, from here we cannot move, right, because this is 0 index, we cannot jump from here, okay, these possibilities are not there. So from 3 we will go 1 and from 1 we will go 0, again we indicate here. So again possibilities are not there. So third possibility is from 3 go to from 2 to 0, any who are ending the 0 we are not able to reach this element, target element so we can return the false. So this is the use case how you are going to solve that. So let us uh, see that how we are going to solve. There could be the main uh, multiple solutions but uh, let me uh, explain what I understood the good uh, optimized solutions for this kind of the questions. So what if you do, if you see this is the index, right? If you add this two value, means the element, what is the data here and index. So in this case, nums 0 plus 0. If that is greater than or equal 4, means we can reach here, right. So if you see here 2 plus 0, this is the 2 and whatever the number is that, that is the next index, right. This value is 2, this value is 0, 2. But with the 2, we cannot reach here, right. Check another one, this part. 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 and we have to reach the 4. So in this case, we can reach that. So our logic is that you check for the complete for loop, you check i is equal to 0, i nums length 
if any time if your nums i plus i right index i plus i if it is greater than or equal of what of this index we can say we can able to reach that so we can say if this is the equal nums dot length minus 1 means we can return the true so this is easy solution but that solution might be not sufficient i am giving some next example and a ubc that example that we will not work let us example this one so again this index is here over here right apply the same logic 2 plus 0 2 it is not 4 1 plus 1 it is not 4 0 plus 2 it is not 4 plus 4 plus 3 it is 7 it is more than the 3 so according to code i should return it to but check the manually whether the answer is correct or not so from 2 it can come here 0 you can't move further because this is the 0 from 1 i can come only here we can move it so when you check in testing actually it should be the false but as per your above code it is showing the true so that's why you have to implement one conditions one corner case and corner case is that whenever you move the next index this value should not rest than your next index so in this case if you see here index is equal to 3 means here i is equal to 3 but the previous addition of this 2 was the 2 and 2 is less than the i 2 means your this number this number if it is less than i that time itself you should say it can never reach the target so here you have to give the condition right so what you have to do here instead of adding always this part we will put this condition so we will just add max we are taking the value of the max means how max index we can go add here num i plus i right if and take the max is equal to starting because you are starting here right so here only we will take the max is equal to 0 and i is equal to also 0 right they are going to start so you have to check if max less than i then and there itself we turn the false because this is the terminating point always before sum before in this index that sum of the element index must be greater or equal than the index otherwise you have to otherwise you will not able to reach the target here right you can see here right even though 4 plus 3 is more than the 4 but we cannot able to reach that this place here itself he should say i cannot reach that right is that sufficient no let me check this here 1 2 this is the index i can put the logic over so 4 plus 2 4 i cannot use the 5 3 i cannot use the 5 3 adding of this 2 i cannot use the 5 3 0 plus 3 3 i cannot use the 5 right so the moment you become here according to this statement this condition you cannot move and it will say that 0 plus 3 is equal to 3 and 3 is less than the index that will not move and they will return you the false. But check the manually, can you go or not? So 4, we can directly jump to the 4 and 4 here we can go, come here. So manually it is able to reach that. So we are missing one important thing. What important thing? We are always checking the sum of these two of just the previous. No you have to check the maximum sum up to here means if your i is here you have to check what is the maximum combination to compare between your i and those value 
otherwise according to this example you have end up with the false so if you see here 4 0 this value is 4 this is the 3 this is the 3 this is the 3 what is the maximum of this or this or the element maximum is 4 so you have to compare this 4 with the current index so this will not work so what you have to do you take one max and in max keep only the maximum value so if you see first was the 4 next was the 3 i will not replace the 3 again 3 i will not replace the 3 because we have the maximum value 4 so until unless i will not get the maximum i will not change the max value take one example from here starting max is equal to 0 when you start the the iteration now max is equal to 2 0 plus 2 is equal to 0 so i replace with the 2 move forward 3 plus 1 4 is greater than 2 i will replace the 4 2 plus 1 3 3 is less than the max i will not replace 1 3 it is less than the 4 i will not replace so you have to always keep the maximum value of the element and the index so this max would be not work so what you have to do you have to put max take the math max means maximum of this one num i plus i and the previous max if your current max is more than the max then only you assign into the max otherwise not so this is your final code and here you have to return the true you have to initialize one max is equal to 0 make the for loop check this termination condition anytime if your max less than the i return the false otherwise update the max if you getting the maximum value among so far to above the element and at the end return the true so this is the final solution let me uh, check in the code max and is right you and one one for loop there it will go for the index right so then and as we discuss always check if you max less than i then we have to return false else we have to assign into max the maximum value so far right we will use the mat the element plus index if it is more than the previous max otherwise not that's it and return is equal to two that's it this is the code so if you check here you can get it is two and what a maximum you can do anytime if you check in, in as per our first example if you max already reach the index in first iteration or second iteration no need to move all the iterations right so we have to check went minus one this is the last index right if it happen then we turn the to that time itself no need to wait for the full iterations so you can optimize it because if you have the so many elements so unnecessary to view it is working fine let it with the submit we have already submitted many times so let me check so this is the every millisecond okay let me just remove this condition because if you have the rest element it will not perform well so it depends sir. you can check uh, both way and if you see it is still taking the time yeah but this is the solution you can test it thank you very much please uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, if you have any questions commit any comment thank you